On Thursday, the 25th of February, 2021, the Navy community was thrown into a state of mourning with the passing of Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo retired, a man considered a mobile encyclopedia on maritime operations and logistics in the Gulf of Guinea region. The former Chief of Naval Administration, Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo retired, passed on to eternal glory at the age of 65. The Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo retired was a nephew of the late Admiral Augustus Aikomo retired, who served as Vice President of Nigeria under Military Head of State General Ibrahim Babangida from 1986 to 1993. Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo was at the time of his death a director at Ocean Marine Solutions, OMS, a firm that was founded by Captain Hosa Okumbo. Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo retired, was a member of the investigative panel on arms procurement set up by President Muhammad Buhari between 2007 and 2015. Rear Admiral Aikomo retired, was born on the 31st of July, 1955 the Chief Alfred and Juliet Aikomo of Udemebo Irua in Edo State. He was the first of nine children who had his primary and secondary education in various towns in the southern part of the country. He attended St. Joseph's College, Undo State, Government College, Ugeli, and St. Columbus College, now St. Gregory's College, Agbo. In 1975, he joined the Navy following the footstep of his beloved late uncle, Admiral Augustus Aikomo, GCON. During his 35 years of military service, the late Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo held various key leadership positions. He was Director of Plans, Naval Headquarters in 2008, Director of Logistics, Defense Headquarters in 2010, Flag Officer Commanding Eastern Naval Command in 2013 and Chief of Administration Naval Headquarters in 2014. On his 65th birthday, he was conferred as the Aigbo Kalu of Isha Land in Edo State, one of the highest titles in his community. Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo was indeed a great husband, father, and a lover of God. To bid final farewell to the late Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo, a service of songs was held in his honor on Monday, the 29th of March, 2021, at the Naval Dockyard in Victoria Island, Lagos. The service was officiated by the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy. In attendance were wife of the deceased, Mrs. Ekanim Aikomo and children, Wilson, Anita and Williams. Former Governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi. Immediate past Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Ekweibas, retired. Timi Alaibe, former Managing Director of the NDDC. The GMD, Zenith Bank, Mr. Ebenezer Onyago. Acting Chairman, Ocean Marine Solutions, OMS, Mr. Sola Emiko. Major General Emeka Wamebu, retired. Senior Pastor Trinity House, Pastor Itwai Gudalo, among other distinguished guests. The event kicked off with series of soul-lifting hymnal renditions. <laughs> After which family members took turns in taking the Bible readings for the service. More hymnal renditions continued, 
And then Reverend Father Anthony Amusu of the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy, Lake Lagos, delivered a short sermon which centered on the reality of death as well as the understanding of the true meaning of life. He afterwards prayed to God to comfort the family of the deceased at this very trying time. We gather this evening to do three things. First, to pray for our brother who has returned back to his creator. I remember during Ash Wednesday, many persons rushed to church to take the hash. But there is one thing that priest says to us as we take the hash which sometimes we do not pay attention to. The priest tells us that we are dust, and to dust we shall return. But the joy of receiving the hash sometimes does not allow us to hold on to that which the priest is saying to us. If we are ash, and someday, or we are dust, and someday we shall return back to dust. We need to remind ourselves daily about the reality of death. And I say to my parishioners in church and even doing funerals, that death is one thing everyone would be able to afford. The rich and the poor. No matter how poor one may think he or she is, when death comes, it will be so cheap that we can afford it. Today we gather to pray for our brother that he would find peace, comfort, and joy in God's presence. It is his turn today, and so we gather together as a united family to beg God for his mercy and love, to grant our brother a place in the midst of the saints and angels. We pray as we gather this evening that may God overlook any saints of his and may he welcome him into his heavenly kingdom which he has prepared for us from the beginning of the world through Christ our Lord. As the service of songs ended, it paved the way for the second session of the event, which was the evening of tributes. It began with a performance by B.J. Sachs. <laughs> After which the tribute session commenced. Among those who spoke were immediate past chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Ebok Ekwebas retired, squadron leader Kayode Shubajo retired, President 26 Regular Course Alumni Association of the NDA, the GMD Zenit Bank, Mr. Ebenezer Onyago, Acting Chairman, Ocean Marine Solutions, OMS, Mr. Sola Emiko. Major General Emeka Owamebu retired. Air Commodore Victor Aikoma retired, among many others. In their different tributes, they showered encomiums on the deceased, describing his generosity as second to none. Indeed, Joe was a true friend whom I'm proud to refer to as the lion of our time. His fearless and dogged disposition to work aptly matched his relentless passion for excellence and positive energy towards the transformation of his environment and immediate constituency. No wonder he was always a force to be reckoned with at work and play. However, 
At heart, the lion was a gentle, was as gentle as a dove and a jolly good fellow, who often went the extra mile to ease the hardship of others, tirelessly encouraging those he encountered to aim for greater attainments. Till date, his outstanding military career remains a roadmap which has greatly encouraged generations of officers that the dream of a better tomorrow is possible and most imminent by aggregating our respective individual efforts. The late Admiral Aikumu was a distinguished and a life member of the 26th Regular Course Armenian Association. Big Joe was an exemplary pillar of support to the association. Indeed, his outstanding financial and moral support to the association during our 40th anniversary in 2019 was second to that of Vice Admiral Libas retired who was then the chief of naval staff. It is on this note I conclude by saying adieu the quintessential Joe, adieu the big attack Joe, adieu the Admiral Joe Omosia Icon. There is no doubt that we your cosmics of 26 regular calls. I'm missing you deeply already because there is no life amongst us that you did not touch. But looking around and seeing all everyone who has come to speak of Joe, I know that it is not just he used me as a figure of speech, that every one of us who Joe has touched, the family is here for us to mentor them. The family is here for us to be their mother both their mother and their father, because Joe was such an extraordinary and profoundly good man. Profoundly good man. To my big Joe, my senior who gave me protection and taught me assertiveness, that made me be able to stand in secondary school. I said, good night. Continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the board of directors, management and staff of Ocean Marine Solutions Limited. I express our heartfelt sympathy to the entire Aikomo family and the demise of your husband, father, brother, and uncle, Rear Admiral Joe Aikomo. We have continued to grieve the sudden demise of our dynamic director, who was an exceptional leader a team player, exuded humility, kindness, gentleness, so much charm, passion, and insight. To many of you, he was the admiral. To me, he was Mr. Joe. Started calling him Mr. Joe so many years ago. And our civilian friends would always challenge me why I would call a naval officer by the title Mr. And to him, I was heir assault. Joe and I were friends, we were buddies, and we were brothers. And each time I think of having lost a brother, a friend, something was passed to me. You lost one, but you gained three. Mama, as a son, I gained Mama as a daughter, and I gained a his as a second son. So, although their biological dad is not here with them, I am their dad. And 
to all his friends, please, these children are your children. All of us will jointly do that thing that their biological father wanted of them. I lost one, but God gave me three. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to repeat what most of my the speakers before me have said. I just implore you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for the repose of my senior brother's life, Joe, and that the good Lord to accept him into his person. The late Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo was also described as a great family man who loved his family members and friends greatly. The service of songs was brought to an end with a closing prayer delivered by Pastor Itwai Godalo. The next day, the 30th of March, 2021, a requiem mass was held in honor of the late Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Aikomo at the Catholic Church of Divine Mercy, Lekki, Lagos. Guests indeed turned out in their numbers to bid him their final farewell. The service featured hymnal renditions, a sermon, and prayers. In the sermon, the clergyman spoke on the importance of living well on earth, especially as Christians, so that we can reunite with our Maker in a more glorious place. Dear brothers and sisters, today we've all gathered to celebrate the European Mass, and most importantly, to pray for our father, our brother and husband who has gone according to our faith to be with the Lord. Every European Mass or every day of burial is an activity which if the Lord grants us as we wish, I am sure that many of us would want it to be removed from our timeline because there is that desire in every human being to live forever and it is that desire to live forever which our faith tells us that for those who are righteous for those who have lived a blessed life according to the gospel that that desire is satisfied by our Father in heaven. May the Holy Spirit speak to our hearts, especially as we begin this Holy Week, that we follow the Lord through his passion, his death, and eventually his resurrection. May the soul of rare admiral, Jew, Akumu, and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. There was a holy communion and special prayers for the entire Aikomo family. The service was brought to an end with a vote of thanks delivered by Wilson Omogbale Aikomo, son of the deceased. After the Easter break, from the 8th to the 13th of April 2021, Activities of the Edo State Axis of the Final Rites of Passage for Rear Admiral Joseph Aikomo will begin with a service of songs and night of tributes on the 8th of April, a requiem mass and internment on the 9th of April, ending finally with a Thanksgiving service on Sunday, the 13th of April, 2021. From Biscon Communications, we pray that the soul of the late Rear Admiral Joseph Omozua Ikomo retired. Rest in the bosom of our Lord. Amen.